You like Trump? Good girl. You like Biden? Okay, good evening. Doing some modifications on my nephew's uh, 5.3 motor. And, uh, pistons. Let's talk pistons for a few minutes. There's a few videos on YouTube about this, but if you don't search for them, you don't see them. And if you don't know, you don't know. But, uh, there's a few modifications. Like, if you buy... Uh, some aftermarket pistons that's already done to it what I'm getting ready to do to it and there's a, a little bit more extreme there's it's got a groove cut in here in the oil groove you got two compare two compression and then one oil and uh, it's got a slice cut down in here so the oil that gets trapped up in there on the downward stroke uh, it supposedly escaped through these little slices here on the side and in the piston. But sometimes it don't work very good. And uh, people do this. I've only seen a couple videos on it. But I've talked to right many machine shops and they do this uh, all the time. Uh, now when a piston moves up. Of course, the compression is going up. Whatever leaks by there gets trapped by here. Can get, it hits the oil ring some. But on the downward stroke, it's still got compression. And it some of the compression gets by here. But on the downward stroke, the windage from the motor gets by here and pushes the rings out on the cylinder bore as it goes down. With these little holes I'm getting ready to drill in it, help that expand it not only from here on the sides but all the way around it and this is perfectly safe it's uh, been quite a few motors done like this Just a little bit little of a bit than what they use. I don't want to get into the top. You see the hole there? I don't want to get into the top uh, part of the piston or the bottom part of the piston too much. The bottom, I wouldn't say would be too critical, but the top part of it, you really don't want to drag up against that with the bit. I'm kind of guessing on where the hole, how far apart they are, but I don't see that as being too critical. And like I said, oil will get trapped up in there, and you'll get sludge, and it won't want to. Uh, it won't want to expand. So that's the holes in that one. Do the other side. Some people only drill two. One of the videos I seen on YouTube, he only done two. Another video he done three. The guy that's doing the work, 
this is going to be a complete rebuild. The motor shop, we got line bowing it, resurfacing the deck, and uh, And Mike and the crank journals and rod journals and Mike uh, checking the crank, make sure everything's in round. Uh, he does this too. Does the three on that side. So yeah. This should help uh, with that little bit of a oil consumption and uh, and let the rings expand back and keep some of the sludge out of them and everything. I will be soaking these in uh, sea foam. I took Hannah's motor and experimented with a few things soaking these pistons in, trying to get all the carbon off of them. And believe it or not, sea foam worked great so I soaked it in it but uh yeah GM53 uh, piston modification that's what I call it so yeah we're going back with the complete rebuild it was supposed to have been just a top end and cam going back with a truck Morris cam uh, new lifters, new rocker arms, new uh, uh, push rods, got the head work done on it, resurfaced, and new valve springs, and uh, uh, seats, retainers, and keepers, and uh, valve guides. Uh, it's going to be a new Millen's oil pump. Uh, got to do a little modification on that. Go change the... Uh, pressure rate in it from stock up to mid-range it should idle at a say 60 pounds I guess they say in 25 over stock and it was idling at 40 now and going down the road kicking it uh, or getting floorboarding it or accelerating it whatever you want to call it uh, it was around 60 65 pounds and uh, 90 pounds sounds like a lot, but it uh, they say that no problem. Up to anything up to 120, uh, pretty much no problem. So I just thought I'd show that. That's a mod modification on the pistons. I got uh, a few more to go. So I just thought I'd share that with you. And like I said, before you comment and say that's wrong thing to do, I've cleared this with uh, three machine shops. And if you actually go and look at a set of at-the-market pistons, it's got a slice in there, plus these. So, uh, them three little holes, they can't hurt nothing. That piston's plenty of strong enough to... Most LS's, they just pull the, get a junkyard LS, pull the pistons out of it, gap the rings on it, stick it back together. It, some of them don't even change the rings, don't change anything. Besides just gap the rings and stick them back in there and go with it. And uh, make a, a thousand horsepower. Of course with a turbo, supercharger, something like that. Not with just a cam swap like we're doing this one. Uh... And like I said, this is low compression, nine and a half to one, or nine to one, whatever it is, stock. But this is a, it's a, actually a 03, but it was put in the 04 truck. So I bought uh, rods, I mean, head bolts, because they're torque to yield, bought them. And uh, they sent the wrong ones. They sent the ones actually for an 04, but they won't work. Uh, the O, the I think 97 up to 03. It's got 16 six inches long and uh, four 
that's uh, four inches long, and then of course the five bolts across the front, which they're short. But uh, yeah, try to document this a little bit as we go. All right, then y'all have a good day. Later.